What's up guys, it's Dave. Welcome back to Spectrum DIY. Today I wanted to pick up where I left off in the last video. This is going to run a little long. I just, it's an info dump. This is part of PCB design. So just to pick up, I did note this guy's suggestion. I did not go this route. Um, there's no reason why you shouldn't and why you couldn't do a voltage, I mean an octave select. There's really no reason why not. Secondly, I've gone through a lot of revisions. <laughs> a lot. There's, there's been a lot. I've been up for hours. The big thing that you'll see here is the silk screen wasn't correct. Some of this text was off. Off, there you go. Off the resistors. Didn't have the values. This is a really big chonking boy. Big, big thick boy. And somebody suggested you can do this by making a custom library and I'm gonna get to that there was a lot of suggestions like positive negative stripe and having both reference and the value which I did not do so I told him I appreciate all the efforts and I did discover here how to globally set the text I could check references and values and then specific to silk screen hit apply which also you can do for the text width and text height so I did that it looks a little weird on here on the screen this is even out of date itself so fix that boom bada bing the only thing is I added all of them ground and put plus and minus right next to the row that it goes in because these do go you know straight across the other thing that has changed, I added numbers next to these. Not that it, you need them, but one, two, and three can help somebody that doesn't know that this is this square one is pad one. So just for helpful sake, hopefully. And then you'll note I've also added a ground plane, which was not there before. And then brings me to nine hours ago as of this recording. There was something wrong. I ordered the prototype too fast so there will be a discussion when that gets here I've shrunk the board down scrolling on along on along and there was some rats nest issues so I fixed those was up all night it just fix after fix after fix is bumping after bumping so now all this let me direct your attention now we're gonna move to KiCad in the schematic and point out a few things that I mentioned in the other video but forgot to mention here the important things to note that are different about this I added 1k resistors in between the outputs that's something I forgot to mention those are not standard on the strip board by the way on that note this was copied from a picture of a strip board in fact it was copied originally from the C the simple CM3340 that was on Look Mom No Computer's website. And then further, the um, soft hard and FM editions were copied over from the picture strip board that Caustic did. So these were these I had to make my own schematic here. So this just to let you know, this was not something that came this way. Um, I had to fix a junction at pin 13. There was a junction at 15 that wasn't supposed to be there. There was a junction at 3 that wasn't supposed to be there. There was this, these two filters were supposed to be to ground. Those are fixed now. And general cleanup. There was some other general cleanup. So now let me direct your attention to the PCB which I finally that was I didn't even have the PCB design in the last video in this video I've got the front silk screen or rather the front copper and I've got the back copper and all the traces done so yeah that's that I've also got the silk screen which I added um, the version one where it came from this is a strip board version 2.1 caustic where he added all of those things and then my version which is just converting it to a PCB 
and adding power filtering, decoupling, and a few other things. This board is version 3.5, however, and 3.5 just is a reference number for me, so I know that this board is the one that has been shrunk down and kind of optimized a little bit. I've added rounded cuts, so the next thing we can do, we can go to 3D Viewer, zoom in on this chunkin' beastie. So now we have try kind of an overlook at what the board's supposed to look like when it gets here. The only thing that is different, I ordered it in black. So it's a black black board with white text. That's got to look sharp, I think. And so I uh, I didn't mean to make this run so long, but I wanted to show you guys a progress that's been made. So here we go. This is this is the uh progress so far and the back has a ground plane as well it is a two-sided board and the last thing i can think of this is available on dropbox you can download this file and everything that i've done so far all the information is going to be in the description down below so yeah i can't wait to get the prototype here i'm going to do probably a builder's live stream and assemble it and do some testing see if it works so yeah i will catch you guys next time i really appreciate you stopping by i know that um one of the biggest things that i've struggled with th this project was just being able to get the files correct just getting all the schematic nodes correct all the connections correct the rat's nest was the hardest bit and then of course I think there's some other there's a lot of learning to be done here there's a lot of just a lot of information so I mean I don't know there's I might have to run through my process on a longer separate video but yeah that's I just want to show you guys what I've got so far and I will see you next time so cheers